DJI FPV, promo videos talk about a 20 minute maximum flight time. I've been flying over the weekend and I've been lucky to get six, seven or even eight minutes. Now, obviously I've been hooning around at a much higher speed. So today I'm going to try and do a battery test flying up there prescribed 40 kilometers per hour and see how the battery lasts. Hello, I'm Ian, I play with drones, and as you well know, this week I've been playing with the DJI FPV. Now, one of the issues I have, uh, that's really caught me out time and time again is how quickly the low battery automatic return to home kicks in. Uh, first flight was pretty atrocious, six and a half minutes, although I was zooming around over 100 kilometers an hour, 60, 65 miles an hour for most of that flight. And of course, that is where you're gonna lose all of your battery, it's gonna eat up uh, all, all of the power that your battery's got and you will end up with this uh, very short flight time. So today what I thought I'd do on a perfectly windless afternoon is actually take the uh, FPV up and use the cruise control function. So it's one of the nice new little functions that you've got. You can actually uh, click cruise control and when you start flying, go, you increase the throttle and it'll actually stay at that particular speed. So I'm literally just gonna go flying around and around uh, in, uh, in a figure of eight or whatever at 40 kilometers an hour to see exactly how long I can get out of this battery. That's the plan anyway. Right, as before, this won't actually be an FPV flight. What I'm gonna have to do is connect the phone, tether the phone so I can actually see the camera view and I can watch the drone circling around over there and the little GoPro is stuffed into the uh, goggles so that you get to see all of the app data. The moment we get up, I've got to get into sports mode and then um, do the cruise control and uh, off we go. 100% battery, let's do it. So into sports mode. Just get up, press the start button, cruise control and off we go. Okay, there we are. Okay, three minutes 50 on 80% battery. I'm on 55% battery now. Three. Well, I reckon I'm going to be on for 16 minutes uh, flight time here anyway. Right, 
right, 25%. I'm going to be getting near near low battery soon. I'm on 19% battery and I've been flying for 14 minutes. Saying I've got three minutes left. So that'll still only take me to seven and a half, 17 and a half minutes. Okay, let's come close to me. You don't want to get stuck with a critical landing. Critically low battery. So as before, you can override, you can actually rise up when it's on the critical low battery. So I've got 5% battery left now. Let's just bring it over. Three percent battery. And still override it. Two percent battery. Naught percent battery. Okay, that's cool. And down he goes. I can't override it anymore. There we go. Right, 17 minutes and one second. Uh, so not quite the uh, 20 minutes. Um, I know it's a little hard to do things in the real world. Obviously, there was a lot of uh, turning and banking there, but that was taking the battery right down to 0%. Now, you really, really do not want to be taking your battery down to 0%. It really stuffs the battery up. And if I wasn't actually doing this as a test to put on YouTube, I definitely would not be uh, taking the battery down to 0%. But you saw there that uh, the automatic return to home kicks in at around 22%. You can cancel that if you want. Then uh, as it gets more towards about uh, 6% or so, you get the um, force landing, but you can still temporarily override that by lifting the left stick. So if you are pushing your battery and coming in over water, for instance, you can push that left stick up and it will continue to rise. But the moment you let go of that stick, it will descend again. And then finally, when you, I got to 0% uh, battery, eventually it starts to land and there's nothing you can do about it at all. And it lands to the ground is why it was good that I wasn't too high up. But look, um, 17 minutes riding gets uh, a very sedately 40 kilometers an hour. What's that, 25 miles an hour? Going round and round and round. Um, that is why when you're doing 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour, you're plowing through the battery. Just as when you're on the, in the car, uh, the faster you go, the more petrol you use, I guess. But um, I would have hoped to have got closer to the uh, 20, 20 minutes that uh, the DJI specs are stating. That was pretty much as close to a, a, a static 40 kilometers an hour as, uh, as I could keep. Anyway, look, there we go. Um, interesting little battery test. Uh, it's nice to know what happens when the battery does get down to zero. And um, yeah, I suppose if you're flying sedately, you can look forward to 17 minutes of, uh, of flight time. Anyway, as ever, little thumbs up always helps. Till next time, have fun, happy flying.